they uh Seth, how many strings they gave me, bro? They gave me twenty, bro. choice I exposed I exposed the, the, the camp we are sandwiched between Fort Worth and Dallas Texas in Arlington at the luxurious AT&T Stadium straight ahead it's wild card weekend and we've got a great This nigga quit. Like, what the fuck? What happened? Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Lone Star State in the very yes, mammoth AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Straight ahead, it's wild card weekend, and we've got a great one in store between the Chicago Bears and the Dallas Cowboys. Now you ain't sniffing up a storm. Oh, man. Hey, Seth. That's it. Yeah, wanted to play threes, nigga. What twists and turns will Jamie All right. Murray yeah, have in yeah, store we can play at the my game, bro. The NFL yeah. playoffs are play officially game. underway. A fairly short kick from the 14. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they play. get it up past the 30. I want to play MLB. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Get all my nuts. Dak going to start out going to the air. Swinging this out for Pollard. Giving three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. And that's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, short tackle. Beep, beep. Beep, 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 get all my nicks. Meanwhile, Dax throw complete there to Johnson. Here we go with this funny business, bro. My lineup's nasty. They have Kelsey at, at fucking Give right tackle. Give the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. I don't think it's called retool. Three but, yards okay. on that last carry. Here's second and seven. There you go. Going to run again here with Pollard. And he's got it across midfield and into Bear territory. Get it, nigga. What? <laughs> no. Third and short, they'll try option left. That's, that's stick work, CJ. He does that's have stick work, CJ. A 
nice pickup of 10 means that this drive will stay on track. And this, I mean, it's certainly a lot. I'm a, I'm a bad man, I'm a mother. Watch your mouth. Like that, and here he takes it for good yardage. And we know this defense prepared a whole week for this, but I'm a bad mother. Ooh, watch your mouth. It's a whole different ball game, and all that preparation, it goes right out the window. And that is caught at the 10 yard line. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10 yard line. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming after them. Put the pressure on them. What don't you want? of scrimmage the seven now on second and goal right. press got to throw it firing quickly here and that's complete and he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds five yards that time on the completion and now it's third and goal Prescott from the gun. My house. Just throw this one over in the way of the security crew. Incomplete here. You can already start to hear this crowd. They're saying, hey, go, you, go for it. Yeah, have we ever been in a game where you've heard the crowd go, field goal, field goal? <laughs> no, I have not. That's You're a good not point. Yeah, they always want to go for it. And I think they've got the right idea right now. The way they've moved the ball in this drive, I wouldn't stop that momentum. Go get it. Yeah. Prescott to throw on four. Oh! That nigga just robbed me. Picked up by Michael O.J. Moody. And the Bears are going to get the ball back on the turnover. They hold on fourth and goal. Nobody ever wants the interception on the opening drive to happen, but when it happens in the playoffs, it feels like it's a bigger deal. What a rough start. And how about these visitors? The defense just went right on the field and seized momentum. You know, almost like they're saying, okay, no one expects us to win this one. Let's go ahead and give them a shock early. Took the ball from the home team and put them in the hole. Because this crowd is one of the best in the league, especially this time of year. It's going to be tough to take them out of it, but that's a heck of a start. And he's going to take no, this he's in right MVP. around three hey, yards, that. but no more than that. Second down. And while they hope to continue this drive, it's really already mission accomplished. They've given enough space now that they have to punt the ball. They've done so with that first run. Second down, they'll go with Akers again. And he'll find a little space. He gets this up near the 10. And it's still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play. Stupid. 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 I'm going to get my six. Takes this one back into the end zone, and the Cowboy defense hey, has a touchdown. That, man. Tristan Viscano for the extra point. And this Dude, is and and with the game. Why don't we get it? Cowboys. <laughs> what are you pitching? No way, no way, no way, no way, no way, boy. I'm gonna turn the kick on my solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. What happened? The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. 
I remember they were just down here a moment ago and threw the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and What's you come that? right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. Play action this time for Justin Herbert. And that'll be incomplete. Well, he certainly didn't like what he saw at all from the coverage on his primary reads. And he didn't even have any luck trying to get back to his safety valve. Give defense the credit. Coverage was in lockdown mode everywhere. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Herbert. That one taken in by T. Higgins. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and Definitely ten. a slant ass nigga. Okay. Here's Herbert. Big baby, big baby, big baby, big baby, big baby. And the Cowboys are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. So that changes things. You get the interception, and then to boot, a good return tacked on. And really, it was down to him versus the quarterback on the return, and that's one you would think the defender would win. But a nice job there of seeing the play all the way to the end and making the tackle by the QB. Now throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by DJ Reed. And they will score oh, a pick six like for that, the Bears touchdown. Well, they matched their opponent's pick six from earlier. Those are some crucial points that may prove pretty consequential as to how this one plays out. And Brandon, I think now we're not just watching how they move around the field, but we're checking their psychology out a little bit, aren't we? Because that defense, they're about to go right back out with all the momentum on their side. As for the opposing offense, you wonder if there's going to be some hesitation to lean entirely on the passing game to try and mount a counterattack. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. A fairly short kick from the 14. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. He's got a man complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. The last I mean, run got quit, three. Yeah. Now here's second and seven. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. After one, a one-point game, seven to six. The Bears. 
Oh, I forgot you said I could play you with five. Oh, okay, I'm tripping. Let me lock in. Let me lock in. Let me lock in. Let me lock in. A great effort there. 28 yards as his guys are able to extend their lead. Now the try here for the extra point. And it's up. It's good. Our score, 14 to 6. Out is the kickoff unit oh my as they God, run up and send around. this one away. Oh my Taken in at the three. And beyond the 20, but not mm, by much. Ice cream, in so fact, good. Just a yard pass there to the 21. <laughs> mm, thank you for the roses. At the line, prepping mm, for their next cream, drive, so the good. Bears offense. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together. Well, this guy's right, got to have run off the lead. There's no patch. way he just took my to get us that far. On track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays. Oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. And he is tackled inside the 40, yeah, not quite the to the 35. Another first down this time on a gain of 19. Exactly what they needed right there because they. Ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 37-yard line. Back to throw here, Herbert escaping the pressure right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops and escape this drive. To throw again on second down, Herbert, and he takes a what? shot on the release. The Marcus and what you call it got edge straight in. What? He had to that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without the license. Good luck, Jordan. <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. Open man, it's complete to Higgins. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 21. I'm talking it's way, a pick way up far ahead. 15 and a fresh set of downs. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there. And they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. That's complete to his running back, Herbert. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and ten from the ten. Off the option, here's Akers. And he'll take this one inside the ten down to the eight. The ball on the eight still could get a first down technically. Second and seven. A shotgun snap for Herbert. Looking underneath, he's got Akers. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. Herbert off of play action. Looking left side, that's caught by Moore. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. Fourth down, Herbert. <gasps> you got a job, Jayon. For a Chicago touchdown. Robert Tunyon from eight yards out. And the Bears' decision to go for it pays off with six points. 
You got it figured out by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. And this is going to be incomplete. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two point Come on, the, uh, what you call it? The Toto? Tells us because a lot of teams <laughs> want to throw the ball in this situation. Uh, this time, unsuccessfully. I just wonder if maybe running the ball might be the way to go. With it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few attempts at running. I, I think I mean, stats two, over two. time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense... They just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. To throw on second and ten, Prescott. Wide open receiver complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Prescott on first down. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. <laughs> the wise move there looked like nobody open. Now second Dude, you're down. so bad at faking Sometimes sleep. I don't know how he's falling for that. Is the right play. And he showed that he's learned from his yes, earlier interception you're bad at on it, that bro. throw. Like you, was, it? you were just, just screaming. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Play action now. Prescott. Got an open man. It's Michael Gallup. He's got room at the 30. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. And he's swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Slider and what else? Play fake. Here's Prescott. Now the ball comes fuck, loose, fuck, and this is picked fuck, up fuck, by the fuck. Bears. Fuck. And a great return as he's up close to the 40-yard line. Had some good yardage there, too, before he fumbled that football, Charles. Yeah, just think about it this way. Running backs, as a general rule, they kind of know when the end of a run is near, and you notice how they cover up, right? They protect the football. Sometimes quarterbacks forget that out in the open field. After a while, you start to wonder, does the running back coach visit the quarterback coach and say, hey, I can help you with this. We can protect this and make sure we keep the ball. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. 59 yards rushing for him in this first half as he has certainly carried over his regular season success into the playoffs. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. Oh, he'll let one go deep for Higgins. And this one is incomplete. Everyone's eyes go to him when he nears the end zone, and that includes the coverage, who took away the easy throwing lanes and forced the high throw. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. On the handoff, running left is Akers. Come on, bro. And some room to work. And he is out of bounds tackle, bro. inside the 35. A good pickup, 17 yards and a bare first down. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. On first down, Justin Herbert. And incomplete, he dropped it. Maybe a rookie mistake there, second down. 
So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. On second and ten, Herbert. And a throw right sideline is complete. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I got to play in the for cool down for sure, bro. 33 yards. Refresh is crazy, bro. And the Bears bro. have taken the lead. Santos able to tack on the extra point. And the lead oh is up God. to five. Oh, God. That's what when he's spamming out routes, bro. Now bro. after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. I'm not shading him. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. The Dallas yes, offense please. here set to begin the drive. And with good starting field position and three timeouts oh. as well in their pocket, no oh. reason not to try and put a late scoring drive together. Why would you hear like that? Prescott on play action. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. That's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, you go not for the man when it coverage. That'll keep that. you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. You need to let me. Ooh, ooh. They'll try ooh, again ooh. from the 36 on second and 10. You ever seen a light? From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Tosses the out route here to Gallup. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, it's Prescott. He's got his tight end on the corner route. It's complete. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Prescott. Oh, fate good, bro. Oh, oh. Gallo, Gallo, We know it's Gallo, not an easy job to Gallo. go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Hey, Jordan, that, that top is going gonna, gonna to do it for me, so bro. After the incompletion on first, now second and ten. To throw is Prescott. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the oh, sack. Uh, now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack. It's third and long. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. They're going for a receiver there. Already has one touchdown of this first half. A second one not to be. I like where their head space is, though. I mean, I really like the thought process, right? You got a guy who's already scored one, right? You want to go back to him, continue the hot hand, and make them adjust to you defensively. I like what they were trying to get done, even though they weren't successful. Now Prescott on fourth down. A desperation heat for the end zone. Turn the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. Oh my God, I just lost. Mike McCarthy took the gamble, didn't pay off. And this defense is going to get the football back near midfield, right at the 48. 
The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Setting up to throw on first down. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. When defenses get to the quarterback that quickly, Ooh. a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit and it forced an incompletion. To throw once more on second and 10. Herbert, he's going to let this one go deep. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. I usually hesitate when I say a guy's got world-class speed, but this guy might. So let's fire the starter's pistol. Let's go. If you've got him, you've got to try and use him. A lot of anticipation with the ball in the air, but no, incomplete. got it from 55 yards away that was never in doubt so we come upon halftime here in this nfc wild card matchup as we send you on over to orlando for jonathan coachman in our ea sports halftime report take it away coach and we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside charles davis i'm brandon gordon set and ready to rock for the third quarter One of these two teams about to play their final half of the season as we're back at it in this NFC wild card bout. This will be fielded inside the five. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And they've been the better of the two teams through two quarters of play, much to the chagrin of this home crowd. Yeah, this score is a surprise to a lot of folks at home, although not to my dad. He predicted the visitors would win. And maybe to the folks in the stadium, but you know who is not a surprise to, partner? This team with the football. They were very confident coming in. Second down, they'll go with Akers again. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Here's Herbert. He'll get this to Akers out of the backfield. And he nearly got the first himself, but it appears he's going to be about a yard or two short. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Look at this truck, Michael down, Parsons. Before he was able to break the tackle, and the extra effort moves the sticks. And they run the option here on first and ten, and he's going to lose yards. Lord. They take him down oh. at the twenty-six. It's a loss of four Jesus there, Christ. bringing up second down. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. And if they keep making plays just like that. They're going to give their offense a chance. Throwing on second and 14. Herbert. That's into the hands of Akers complete. 
finding space at the 40. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. On Herbert, his third interception. Picked up by Leighton Van Der Esch. And the Cowboys down, boy. are going to take possession of the football. That is just what this defense was hoping for, an interception on the opening possession of this third quarter. Obviously didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even farther behind, and we've gotten to know this team a little bit, haven't we? Couldn't you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys, telling the quarterback, don't worry, we got you to start things off. You take it from there. And now a I throw on first down I, I there, but it's incomplete. The goal is certainly to try and make a big play happen and climb back into this game, but you have to be careful. If you overdo it, you could turn it over and hurt your team. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Now a give here to Pollard. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It's a loss of two. Now third down. That's why you run the ball. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Here's Prescott. That is caught at the seven-yard line. Call it a gain of six on the play. And it'll be fourth down. Brandon, a good idea there on third down. Run a little clear out. Don't be get your receiver the ball coming across the formation. Nice design, but well played defensively, and they stop him well short. Either way, bro, I'm eventually have to score a touchdown, bro. Prescott to throw on four. And this will down. quickly to Lamb. Touchdown. CD Lamb. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Cowboys take advantage of the short field and finish it off with a quick touchdown. Now Mike McCarthy saying, let's go for two. Prescott, they're going to throw for it. Oh, he made it. But it's incomplete. They made the decision to go for two. They didn't get it. They remained down by two points. Should they have kicked it there? A third quarter, I'm okay with it. Maybe first or second. You don't. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, I'm. I'm again. I keep coming back to. I don't like to chase a lot of points, but I also don't oh know what goodness. kicking an extra point being down one mm. does for me. Keep on sending the house on you, dumbass, bro. The Bears offense the ready to go there. for their next drive. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of play. And it. his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Leighton Van Der Esch. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there, got a nice interception, and set up their offense in great shape. Down to the six yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. Throwing again on second down. Prescott. Damn, this is and he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. Oh, that's good decision making right there. Understood down in distance. Knew it wasn't third down, and he still had another opportunity to earn the first down. Good job throwing it away and avoiding an interception. Looking to throw. Prescott. 
And he's gonna have to eat this one as down he goes. I my three, bro. The defense I rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. And this one is right through, and they have regained the lead. So the interception set him up with terrific field position, but three points in the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say, we should have done better there. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Like I said, I live here though. <laughs> At the line prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys, had your fun? All right, throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just oh, fine. I guess it's time now to lean on such a bad call. That's such a bad call. I ran into my own teammate. this time for Justin Herbert he's got a Ooh. man complete <laughs> how am I weird like what how am I weird I let the user go they talked about stringing together some explosive plays here in the playoffs that was a pretty explosive play it certainly was and if you're going to win on the road it certainly helps to have no 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 in your hip pocket, doesn't it? I accept that one. That's just saying I was weird for now. The Bears keeping the offense on the field and going for two. The quarterback Stupid will keep fool. it himself, and he is not gonna make it to the goal line. So the defense holds, and this remains a five point game. Now, after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you've met fan bases that wanted that. <laughs> they weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Looking downfield, and that's caught right side. He's got his man. Get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. 35 yards the game there. Another first down as well. We have seen big plays from both quarterbacks throughout this game, and there's another one right there. Going back and forth, almost like two excellent guitar soloists trying to top each other with each additional play. On play action, Prescott. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. Last play went for over 30 yards. This one not quite as big, but still over 20. One quarter remains in this NFC wild card matchup. This is the National Football League on EA Sports.
get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. It'll be a handoff to Pollard. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense is pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game. And all that pregame whooping has turned into results. They go back to Pollard on second oh, down. And he'll he find his way down time. inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. This is a big play in this wild card matchup facing third and goal. Prescott from the gun. Flush to his right. And probably the wise decision there. No one open. He just throws it away. And that keeps the field goal on the table as it's fourth down. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This is a 26-yard attempt. And his kick is right there. It's good. And that will cut the lead down to just two. So with that field goal, this one's now back within a field goal. Maybe not the ultimate result they wanted, but gets them that much closer. This game is unfolding like a really good book, isn't it? Because I feel like there's a few more plot twists yet to be revealed before this one is over. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. From the end zone, here comes Herbert. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And this a very important drive leading in the fourth quarter of this wild card game. But this one far from over as they start out here first down. Second down, they'll go with Akers again. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. A tight game like this, such a tough spot for the offense to be in, even though they have the lead, Charles, back up so close to their goal line. they got to protect the football. And that's when you have to take care of your team with play calling as well. Not a lot of misdirection, not a lot of counters, not a lot of plays where you have extra ball handling. Get it right to the hands of your running back. Tell him to take care of the ball and try to move forward. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that pickup of the first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? So frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. 90 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Okay. From the 35 on second down. Yeah. And he'll just get rid of it. Well, you know me, whether you need it or not, I'm going to give a little unsolicited advice. Just throw it downfield out of the pocket only if you're absolutely sure. Otherwise, use your running ability and try and get those yards a safer way. They'll try and run for this with Akers. No, 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 no. Why would you push him for? This thing is a fucking fool. At the 39 yard line. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Brandon, this can be so demoralizing for a deep. Opportunities to get off the field. They haven't gotten it done. So now your coordinator, he's going to call every blitz that he has. Any type of exotic, something that they haven't seen before. And he's also telling the defensive lineman, don't worry about holding people up. Just get in gaps and try and make a big play. And not only not getting off the field on two opportunities, clock continuing to oh, run. Oh, oh, Larry. Oh, God, he just and got They're going to get this down inside the 20. What a game it's been for this yeah, duo. I don't listen to the game. I don't give a, a fuck. I want him to. Each other so well. I want no him to play. One rips, the other's right there to pick them up, and they are shredding them in this ball game. They'll run on first down with Akers. Try to. This time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Oh, this nigga here. That's me. I'm going to turn the knee for up. A great effort there. Saving his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game. And the Bears are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. 
So a heck of a drive right there with the game potentially hanging in the balance. A very good drive, and now a conversion to make it a two-score game and a solid lead. Santos with the extra point, and that makes this a nine-point game. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. Taken in at the three. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. If they want to advance in this divisional round, look, obviously the time is now. Trailing here in the fourth as they go to work on a crucial, crucial drive, first and ten. Justin Houston able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. After the sack on first down, Prescott. Oh, just hold the block for one more second, please. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack? It's third and long. Off the play fake, Prescott. He's letting it fly for Cooks. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. And the Bears are going to get it back here just past the 35. Damn, I ain't got no more timeouts. I mean, I ain't got no more pauses. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. They'll begin on the ground with Akers. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a Ooh, couple having no D-line hurts bad. They're going to pass here with Herbert. He's going to look deep for more. Oh, this is jump balls taken like in. It's complete. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. <laughs> he can't fuck with you. Yeah, keep playing, cuz. I say keep playing, cuz my game almost over. Herbert jet sweep as he taps it forward. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Now receiver in motion left. Here's a run with Akers on second down. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. They give him two yards there as they're set up now with a first and goal. Now I'm assuming they're keeping this football on the ground, right? I would think so because you're looking at the clock. That's in your favor. You're looking at the geography of the field, right, where you are. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Cam Akers taking it in from a yard out. And the Bears have extended their lead to 15 now here in the fourth. And to me, that touchdown allows you to start grinning widely on your sideline. I think they pretty much locked this one away. Yeah, that's the clincher, the proverbial icing on the cake, if you will. Santos able to tack on the extra point. And that could be important as that makes this a 16-point lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. Taken in at the three. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense.
Now Prescott. He's going to let it fly. And that is incomplete. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shots. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. Here's Dak. Complete. Pollard. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Now Dak. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. He's got a man. Are we caught that shit? Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 13 seconds left to play. To throw Prescott. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. And let's face it, this defense has had its share of struggles all game long, and they know that they can put it all behind them if they defend well here in the two-minute drill. Excellent coverage right there to force the incompletion. Letting one go deep for the end zone. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Eddie Jackson picks it, and the Bears come up with a late turnover, but it will probably only matter to the statisticians as this ball game is now officially over. And the Bears will fight on another week as we say so long, everybody. Wow.